Now, before I begin here, keep in mind that at the time of uh, me recording this video, I thought that I was recording me talking in the right corner, the bottom right corner. But I actually didn't record any audio. So, um, yeah, I'm recording audio over this, actually. So, um, if my lips don't quite match up with what I'm saying right now, you'll understand why. But basically, the first thing you want to do is you're going to go File, Import, or Control-I short so just file import and you're gonna go to uh, locate your stock footage now basically what this is is basically it's footage that has a black background um, or really a white background it doesn't really matter it just has to be a solid color but anyway I'm gonna locate my footage here and uh, all these download links are in the description, by the way. Um, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on the top one, select all of them, and then open them. And basically, now you have uh, imported all of your videos. So now what you're going to do is you're going to drag your selected explosion to whatever place you need it to be. And you'll probably notice that it has a black background. And what you want to do is you want to get rid of this black background and you do this by inserting a luma key now that may sound kind of strange but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to effects you're gonna go into keying and you're going to find luma key so you're gonna click on the luma key and you're gonna just click and drag or not I guess drag and drop um, onto your explosion so you'll drag and drop and then the black background will be gone so as you can see here the black background is no longer there so basically all you have to do now like here I'm actually making my uh, explosion just bigger um, but yeah basically um, essentially what this is doing is just removing the black background behind the explosion um, and like I said before you know, you go to effects, video effects, keying, luma key. But anyway, you can see here, got it all nice and good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to back to my project folder and I'm going to get the explosion sound effect. Now you're going to line this explosion sound effect up with your explosion and you're done. You have now successfully created a cool explosion effect in Adobe Premiere you know you, sh you should give yourself a pat on the back you deserve it good job again guys thanks for watching like this video please subscribe